the book of Proverbs, chapter 3, verse 24, the Bible says, When thou liest down, thou shalt not be afraid. Yea, thou shalt lie down, and thy sleep shall be sweet. May your sleep be sweet tonight in the name of Jesus Christ. Close your eyes. Take this prayer point. Say, Angels of God, arise and surround me in my bed tonight in the name of Jesus. Angels of God, arise and surround me in my bed tonight. Surround me and my family in my bed tonight. Surround us, O Lord. Surround us, O Lord. Holy Spirit, come down and surround us tonight. Let us have a peaceful night rest, O Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Say this worship song for less than one minute. Covenant keeping God, there is no one like you. Alpha no omega, there is no one like you. Hallelujah. Covenant keeping God, there is no one like you. Hallelujah, Alpha and Omega. There is no one like you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Today's topic is Bible verses for night prayers. Bible verses for night prayers. Are you a Bible reader? Do you normally read? And meditate on the word of God before you sleep? If you are given a chance to score yourself from 1% to 100% to determine how if you actually read and meditate on the word of God, what percentage would you give yourself? Is it 1%, 2%, 3%? I give you that time to judge yourself. The Bible says the word of God is quick and powerful and sharper than any two-edged sword. The Word of God is a manner used for exhortation, guidance, and correction. It's very important as Christians to read and meditate on one or two Bible verses before we sleep. Why is this so? Because reading the Bible before we sleep gives us comfort, peace of mind, protection from demonic attacks of the night. If you want to have a sound sleep, and also have a victory over nightmares, you need to read a verse before you sleep and convert it to night prayers of protection. The Bible says, While men slept, the enemy came to sow tests among his sweets and went his way. It is true that many things happen during our sleep. It's possible that the angels of God are walking around our homes to ensure our safety and protection are guaranteed. It's possible for the devil to use the hours of the night to perpetrate evil against us and against our loved ones. So many people have been wasted in their sleeps. May you never be wasted in your sleep tonight in Jesus' name. Some, some people sleep and never wake up again. Some went to bed and wake up with terrifying nightmares. Some went to bed with joy and wake up with sorrow. One of the most effective prayers Christians can take these days is one supported with Bible references. A Christian who always pray at night before he or she sleeps should not have anything to worry about or anything to fear about if he or she is a righteous person. As taken from the book of James chapter 5 verse 16. Jesus says in the book of John chapter 6 verse 63, the Bible says, The words that I speak to you, they are spirits and they are life. Night hour is one of the most sensitive because during the night, the enemy operates at will. It is only those who soak their night with the blood of Jesus will have the Holy Spirit giving them a comforting night rest. If you read the Bible carefully, you will discover the, you will discover the mystery behind the power of the night. No wonder the Bible says in the book of Genesis chapter 15 verse 12, the Bible says, And when the sun was going down, a deep sleep fell upon Abraham, and lo, an horror, of great darkness, which is the enemies, fell upon him. Does your night prayers chase the enemy or you attract the enemy to attack you? Does your night prayers bring about fear instead of peace of mind? If yes, you need to support your prayers with powerful scriptures established from the heart of the Holy Spirit. 
to guarantee your protection tonight. If you discover your type of job is very stressful and doesn't give you the flexibility to saturate your night with the angels of heaven by your command, then you can take it as a habit of playing these night prayers with Bible verse from your phone. It will really help you. I want to put a challenge to you. Promise me you will start praying before you sleep. Promise me you will never give up praying to the word of God. No matter the battles, no matter the pains, no matter the illness, no matter the frustration, no matter the fear, no matter the threat, limitation. Have the belief that all your problems will be buried tonight and you will wake up as a transformed human being in Jesus' name. Do you know what the Bible says concerning you? The Bible says, Weeping may endure for the night, but the joy of the Lord cometh in the morning. The joy of the Lord will come upon your life in the name of Jesus. As you sleep tonight, relax. The angels of heaven will be dispersed to protect you. You will have a good night rest. You will have glorious dream. You will have good dreams. And good dreams will defeat every nightmare that the enemy is planning against you in the realm of the spirit in Jesus' name. May you never experience arm robber as you sleep tonight. May you never experience fear. Fear is, is deleted tonight in the name of Jesus. Let the power of God cover you and your family. Cover, soak your bed, soak your room with the blood of Jesus. Fear not. Sleep and relax. The Lord is taking control. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So, what are the 10 Bible verses for night prayers? The 10 Bible verses for night prayers. The instruction. Bring out your anointed oil or any clean water and decree the following Bible verse with night prayers into it. Please use, use after decree into that water for every night for seven days. You need after decree into it, you need to use that water to bathe yourself and your family to stand as a, as a point of protection. The Bible says, touch not my anointed and do my prophet no harm. As you take this following Bible verse with night prayers before you sleep tonight, decree those words into that water and use that water to bathe tonight. Use it to bathe tonight and every challenge, anything bothering you will be buried tonight in Jesus' name. Bible verse number one is taken from the book of Psalm 34 verse 7. The Bible says, The angel of God encamps around about them that fear him and delivereth them. Close your eyes. Take this prayer point. Say, Angels of God, appear and surround my bed tonight in the name of Jesus. Take this prayer point for two minutes. Say, angels of God, appear and surround my bed tonight. Surround my bed tonight. Surround my bed tonight. Surround my bed tonight. Oh Lord, angels of God, wherever you are, appear and surround my bed. Surround my bed with your virtues, with the blood of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Bible verse number two is taken from the book of Psalm 4, Psalm 4 verse 8. Psalm 4 verse 8, the Bible says, I will both lay me down in peace and sleep, for thou, Lord, only makest me dwell in safety. Close your eyes. Take this prayer point. Say, O oh Lord, help me to have a peaceful night rest in the name of Jesus. O oh Lord, help me to have a peaceful night rest in the name of Jesus. O oh Lord, help me to have a peaceful night rest. Help me to have a peaceful night rest. Take this prayer point for two minutes. Oh Lord, help me to have a peaceful night rest. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Bible verse number three is taken from the book of Isaiah chapter 41 verse 10. The Bible says, Fear thou not, for I am with thee. Be not dismayed, for I am thy God. I will strengthen thee, yea, I will help thee. Yea, I will uphold thee with the right hand of my righteousness. Close your eyes. Take this prayer point. Place your right hand upon your chest and say this prayer point. Say, I command the spirit of fear to depart from me completely. Take this prayer point for two minutes, please. I command the spirit of fear to depart from me completely. Depart from me completely. I command the spirit of fear to depart from me completely. I command the spirit of fear to depart from me completely. I command the spirit of fear to depart from me completely. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Bible verse number four. The Bible says, He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, is my refuge and my fortress, my God. In him will I trust. Surely 
he shall deliver thee from the snare of the fowler, and from the noisy pestilence. He shall cover thee with his feathers. Under his wings shalt thou trust. His truth shall be thy shield and buckler. Thou shalt not be afraid for the terror by night, nor for the arrows that fly by day, nor for the pestilence that walketh in darkness, nor for destruction that wasted at noonday. Close your eyes. Say, I saturate my house with the blood of Jesus. I saturate my house with the blood of Jesus. I saturate my house with the blood of Jesus. I saturate my house with the blood of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Bible verse number 5 is taken from the book of Isaiah, chapter 54, verse 17. The Bible says, No weapon that is formed against thee shall prosper, and every tongue that rises against thee in judgment shall thou condemn. This is the heritage of the servant of the Lord. And their righteousness is of me, said the Lord. Close your eyes. Take this prayer point. Say, any evil arrow from the spiritual world against me tonight backfire in the name of Jesus. Any evil arrow from the spiritual world against me and my children tonight backfire, backfire. You, that man, you are not praying. You, that woman, you are not praying. If you understand the mission of the enemy concerning you tonight, you will open your mouth and pray. Any evil arrow from the spiritual world against me and my family. Tonight, backfire, backfire, backfire. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Bible verse number 6 is taken from the book of Psalm 105, verse 15. The Bible says, Saying, Touch not my anointed, and do my prophet no harm. Close your eyes. Take this prayer point with authority. Say, Satan, hear the word of the Lord. I render all your activities against me and my family tonight powerless in the name of Jesus. Say, Satan, hear the word of the Lord. I render all your activities against me tonight powerless. Take this prayer point for three minutes. Say, Satan, hear the word of the Lord. I render all your activities against me and my family tonight powerless. I render you powerless. I render you powerless. I render you powerless. I render you powerless. I scatter your plans. I scatter your mission against me tonight. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Bible verse number 7 is taken from the book of Psalm 32 verse 7. The Bible says, Thou art my hiding place. Thou shalt preserve me from trouble. Thou shalt compass me about with song of deliverance. Close your eyes. Place your right hand upon your head. Take this prayer point. Say, Holy Spirit, hide me from those that have planned to oppress me tonight in the name of Jesus. Holy Spirit, hide me from those that have planned to oppress me tonight. Challenge them. Challenge them. Challenge them, Holy Spirit. Challenge them in the name of Jesus. Holy Spirit, hide me from those that have planned to oppress me tonight. Take this prayer point for two minutes. Holy Spirit, arise. Hide me from those that have planned to oppress me tonight. Challenge them. Challenge them. Challenge them. Challenge them. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Bible verse number 8 is taken from the book of Psalm 57 verse 1. The Bible says, Be merciful unto me, O God, be merciful unto me, for my soul trusted in thee. Yea, in the shadow of thy wings will I make refuge until this calamity be overpassed. Close your eyes. Take this prayer point for four minutes. Say, O mercy of God, cover me under the shadow of the Almighty. O mercy of God, cover me under the shadow of the Almighty. Take this prayer very well. Take this prayer very well. Say, O mercy of God, cover me under the shadow of the Almighty. Cover me under the shadow of the Almighty. Cover me under the shadow of the Almighty. Cover me and my family under the shadow of the Almighty. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. May the Lord cover you under the shadow of His mercy. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Bible verse number 9 is taken from the book of Psalm 121 verse 5 to 8. The Bible says, The Lord is thy keeper. The Lord is thy shade upon thy right hand. The sun shall not smite thee by day, nor the moon by night. The Lord shall preserve thee from all evil. He shall preserve thy soul. The Lord shall preserve thy going out and thy coming in from this time forth and evil forevermore. Close your eyes. Take this prayer point loud and clear. Satanic surveillance over my life. Cash fire in the name of Jesus. Satanic surveillance over my life. Cash fire in the name of Jesus. Cash fire in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Bible verse number 10 is taken from the book of Psalm 27 verse 1 to 2. The Bible says, The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? When the wicked, even my enemies and my foes, came upon me to eat up my flesh, they stumbled and fell. Close your eyes. Take this prayer point loud and clear. Say, Oh, my destiny, 
arise and fight against the spirit of illness and untimely death in the name of Jesus. Oh, my destiny, arise and fight against the spirit of illness and untimely death. Fight against them, 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 fight against them. I shall have a good night rest today. I shall not sleep the sleep of death in the name of Jesus. Oh Lord, the spirit of the Lord, my destiny, fight against those powers that are putting fear in my life, putting fear in my spirit in the name of Jesus. Fight against them, fight against them. Any power planning to oppress me, any power that is sending the spirit of nightmares into my life, fight against them, O oh Lord. Fight against them, O oh Lord. Fight against them, O oh Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I decree into your life, as you have prayed into that water, I decree that that water shall protect you from any arrow of the wicked fired against you in the name of Jesus. As you have prayed into that water, use that water to bait yourself. For seven nights, for seven nights, for seven nights, or more than that, as the Spirit leads you and you to bait yourself, and the Lord will protect you and it will attract the angels of God to protect you and make sure you have a comfort and peace and and a good and a and a, and a, and a night and a good night rest. The Lord will help you to have a comfortable night rest, peace in your sleep tonight. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Have you been blessed by this broadcast? Share this broadcast to your families, your friends, and even your enemies for them to know what the Lord is about to do in their lives. Once again, this is Evangelist Joshua from Lagos. Disclaimer notice. It has been brought to our notice that there are some accounts that has been using our names, Evangelist Joshua Orike, for fraud. Kindly disregard any account asking you to sow a seed or pay to any orphanage homes. I, Evangelist Joshua Oreke, is not and will never be in any affiliation with this fraudulent account. Kindly report any suspicious accounts, whether Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, or YouTube, to us through ejoshuatv at gmail.com, ejoshuatv at gmail.com, and you can send us a text message on plus 234 Thanks and God bless you. Amen.